six fold. Here she is. She's a little rough though. But we'll work that out. First time checking out the car. I gotta say, she's a little rough, fellas. She's been sitting for a while. But she got some options. Power windows. Interior is pretty decent for its age. Probably original. Got some gas guard and shit. I'll have to check how the floors are and everything, but like here it's a little shot. Chrome is shot. She got a trailer hitch. And fog lights and shit. Uh, she's been worked on. But overall, it's pretty pretty okay, I'd say. She's complete, that's what matters. You don't find these every day. Yeah, that is shot. We pretend we didn't see that. And original Belgium car. Okay, so we gave her a wash with some dish soap and shit. It's already looking a lot better. Them hubcaps are really, really nice actually. She's getting some love already. Looks a lot better actually. We're gonna dry her up, get her inside on the lift and we'll take a look at the rest of it. Maybe we, we even start on the engine, see if we can get it running. She cleaned up pretty good. I mean, it's still rough, but looks a little better. The trim is actually really nice. Surprise it still in such a good shape So yeah, the story about this car is It was built in the Antwerp plant in Belgium and uh, Sold to Germany because it has the the German uh, weight and Everything on the plane in the front the weight of the axles and all that in German and uh, So the, the the previous owner bought it in like 85 and he had it till 95 on the road. And when he retired, he actually drove it all the way to Spain. Cause he bought a, probably a house out there and he was actually pulling a trailer with it and everything. That's why it still has the trailer hitch. And uh, I think the gas tank went out and that's when he parked it. So it was sitting since yeah, 94, 95. So that's pretty much the story. I hope we'll get it running, probably will, because it's a Chevy, they always run. But uh, that's the next step, trying to get it running. Probably we'll have to put a external fuel cell or something, because uh, the gas tank is shot. But yeah. It gave me some extra trim, I don't even know if it's from a 64, but it's NOS. I'll have to check it. So yeah, we're gonna push it inside, get it on the lift, and see what we're working with. Going up on a Tuesday, nah, it's Saturday. Let's see what we're working with. Hope she's not too rough. Fellas. We got a winner. It has some bad corrosion there, but the floors are fucking brand new, man. This is crazy. Even the frame is pretty good. I don't see no holes, nothing. Look at that. The gas tank is shot been leaking 
Even the trunk band is good. So, yep, it's a winner. Score! Good deal. Yeah, I got my camera boys out here. Don't hide, don't hide. Day two on the 64 rag. Yesterday evening, I started tearing up the interior and cleaning the parts up. So these panels are already cleaned up really nice. I did the front seat too. That one came back pretty good. Only thing is it has a tear in here, so but you know. It's pretty good. I still gotta do the front door panels and the whole dashboard. Then I'll put the back seat back in. I gotta do the back seat too now that I think of it. And uh, then the interior will be at least cleaner, you know, all the 26 years of sitting and because it was sitting with the top uh, down, so it was pretty nasty. So yeah, I'll do that first and then I'll get um, working on the engine, see if I can get it running again. So that's the next step. Cleaned up the dashboard already and the door panels. Got the rear panels in, starting to look good. Vacuumed everything up. It's looking pretty good. No rocket science here. I'm just using an oven degreaser to get the, the most shit off. I'm gonna start on the back seat now. Y'all can see it's pretty nasty. But uh, it, it will come back around. Just using this oven degreaser we buy out here for $2. Toothbrush to get in the small areas and this one to scrub away to get in all the patterns and shit That's pretty much it. I'm gonna start on this one. Then I'm gonna do the lower part And I'll get it in and the interior will be pretty much done. Then we can start on the engine So today is what I would call vice grip garage day I don't know if you guys follow him on YouTube, but it's one of the best channels and I learned a lot of stuff on there. So today we're going to revive this uh, inline six original engine because I checked the numbers. Um, always check what the car has to tell you. There's a, the car always tells you a story or it's past here. I noticed we might have a bad fuel pump because they, they cancel the line coming from the fuel tank and here you see they took it out of the pump and they put a, a rubber on it but you can tell the rubber is very old too so this tells me they probably had another pump external pump or something pumping gas into it to maybe get it running every now and then so that tells you one thing then always check inside of the car or in the trunk. I already checked the trunk, there ain't nothing in there, but here in the glove box, however, I found some spark plugs, originals from GM, and they are dated, you can see it here, 1973. So that tells us the last time they changed the spark plugs on this car was in 1973. Then I found some points in here. And I found some brake parts made in Spain. So that tells us it had brake problems and he bought the parts but he didn't change them. And these are from uh, the master cylinder but the rubber is so old that you can hear it crack. I don't know. I don't know if this works. You hear that? So this is actually bad too. So that means it's very, very old. And we probably have a bad master cylinder. And what else is in here? Some random shit. Uh, probably a fuel line, something. So yeah, that's the history of the car, I would say. But I'm pretty sure we will get it running. 
but we have a bad fuel pump pretty sure of it the fuel tank is bad too so probably took some gunk and fucked up the pump or something so um, first thing I'm gonna do is take all the spark plugs out and uh, read the plugs like Derek would say shout out to him so we it will tell us if the engine is is a good engine or if, if it was maintained or if it's bad or have a bad head gasket stuff like that so um, that's the first thing we're gonna do then I will turn on the engine I already tried here and it's not stuck because I can move it like this and the car is actually moving when you move it so because it's in, in gear so the engine is not seized but I will turn on it a little so the oil moves a little the oil is very old too but we're gonna fire it up first on that oil and then we'll change that and pull a new oil filter because it's very old too so that's the first thing we're gonna do then I will check the carb if something is stuck we will put some two-stroke oil mix with the gas so if it starts running it will get a little lubrification on the on the valves and all that so yeah that's the plan today just get to it all right so here we go we're gonna start by taking all the plugs out I had them numbered just to be sure I'm gonna put them in this cardboard and then we're gonna read the plugs see what what they tell us about the the engine so we took the spark plugs out and the good news is they all have the same issue I would say so this tells us that the engine is too rich but we don't have any other problems because they all look the same if, the, if one plug was different or had like a rusty more rusty touch to it then it could be head gasket so it might be a good engine so we will I'm gonna put the the old plugs in I'm gonna clean them up because these ones are too far gone they are really far gone so I'm gonna clean these ones up put them in I already turn the engine it's very free I can move it like this no problem so um, let's get to it put some clean plugs in it then I'll start checking to get some fuel to the car and we'll try to fire it so I cleaned up these spark plugs they were the old ones but they are actually looking better than the ones that were in it so now we're gonna crank it without the spark plugs just to get some oil around then we'll put them in and see if we got spark and try to fire it up here we go, let's give it a try. Oh, that was part of the loads. What we're gonna do now is check if we got spark. I'm gonna put the ignition on. It is on. Okay. I'll just use this simple wire just to fire it up myself. Put it on the starter. Let's see if we got spark. No spark. No jeepa. No spark. Okay. Um, gotta keep searching then. So, we ran into an issue that there was no spark. So now what we are doing is we're testing out the coil. And how we do that is we put a, a ground on the coil and we actually pretend like uh, what what the, um, the distri distributor would do. So if we put it on ground, then we can check if we have spark. And we do have spark. So that's actually what your distributor would be doing when it's turning. It's it's uh, giving spark. Uh, it's giving ground, and it's making spark. So that means the coil works, and we probably have a problem inside of the distributor. So we're gonna take that one apart and see what we got. You 
utilizar que está en tornillado. We noticed we didn't have any spark, so we had spark on the coil, but not in the distributor. So a little bit of sandpaper will take care of that. Some oxidation in here. Okay, I think we do it. Let's see. Just to show you guys better what I was doing. So I have a cable to run the starter and I have a test light on the distributor and I put it on the plus and when the starter turns you're gonna see this one blinking that means the, the contact points is working. Hmm? Not working. all right so I had spark but battery went out so I'm charging that one right now and I'll show you guys later that we got spark but I'm gonna go ahead while it's charging and remove the fuel pump and put a new one because I got a new one laying around from my other Impala so uh, I'm gonna change that one because I'm pretty sure this one is dead and uh, then tomorrow, once the, the battery is full, I can check on Spark again and I can hook a line to it and put some gas in it and see if it will run. So yeah, baby steps, but we will get there, you know. So fuel pump is out. It didn't even have a gasket, so that means they've already been messing with it. I took the fittings out because I don't have any new ones. I'm gonna clean them up, put them in the new pump, mount it with a new gasket and everything, put some grease on the, the rocker arm here, and then it should be good. Typical stuff. This is rounded off, and the line is all bent up. So I'm gonna make a new one. We'll take this one out, see what we got. Oh, we got a metal filter in it. Yeah, it's full of junk. I don't know if you can see it. There's some junk in it. Blow this one out and put it back. So the new fuel pump is in. I put the old fuel line back in for the moment, although it's bad out here. But I'm just gonna use it for a test run and then I will make a new one. This will be it for today. Tomorrow I'm gonna try to continue, see if we got spark once the battery is full. But normally we got spark. I primed already the carburetor with some fuel with some two stroke oil in it. So um, just to get it you know rejuvenating out there and we'll see what it do tomorrow will it run all right we got spark i think we got fuel we're gonna give it a try all right. There you go. 
and go. Me lo llame más que pa. Alright, let's see what we got. I'll show you guys. So she's running. She's even idling, man. This is crazy. These inline sixes are some good ass engines, man. But we have a lot of rust that came out of here. God damn. Yeah, it's smoking a little, but probably because of the two stroke oil that's in it now with the fuel but she's even idling I'm not gonna have it running too long on this oil but it sounds good I don't even hear no 
veil sticking a little bit but she will come around probably will need a carb rebuild anyway pretty damn good Sounds really good actually. What I'm trying to see now if we, we got some water flow in it. And we're gonna try the temperature too. I wanted to warm it up a little so when we drop the oil, the oil is warm and we get all the, the breeze out of it. And then we put some fresh oil, a new filter. We got some gas leaks over here. Over there too, but I gotta do a new line anyway, so I'll fix that. And I'm probably gonna rebuild the carp too. Although it runs good. Nothing on the magnet. That's good. Alright, so we dropped the oil, put a new oil filter in it. The old one gave me a hard time to get it off. But I didn't record that because I was getting mad. But anyway, we're gonna put some new oil in it. I use this one all the time on my old cars. Valvoline mineral oil. So we're gonna fill it up. And then she's fresh again. Fresh oil is in. We're gonna let it run for a while, then we're gonna top it off. She's running pretty smooth. So I took the few line out. I'm gonna go get a new one done because this one is bad. I can see that this was the oil, the oil filter that was in it and by seeing how old it is probably guessing the last time they changed it was in the 80s or something another day on the 64 today I'm not gonna do that much uh, I just took the the belt off because I'm gonna go to a local shop that gonna make me a new fuel line because I took that one off too and he sells belts too, so I'm gonna check if they got one or two, because they are pretty much gone. These are so old. That needs fresh ones. And I, I don't really need to order them from the US, because they got them out here too. I'm gonna take the carb off too, because uh, I need to know what number it is, so I order the right kit. Because remember, we in Belgium, and if I order a part, it's gonna take like one to two weeks to get here. If I order the wrong parts, then it will set me back like three to four weeks. So I really want to make sure I got the good ones. Uh, we know the engine is healthy. It's a good engine, running good and everything. So I'm going to start putting money into it. So I'm going to order everything fresh. New, new uh, spark plugs, new cables, 
uh, probably a new coil too because I don't like this one uh, I'm gonna rebuild the carb I'm gonna flush the system too put new hoses everything and I know I ain't got no brakes either so I'm gonna order all the brake parts too new fuel tank so yeah it's gonna be a pretty big order but uh, it will be worth it because I want to get it technically sound and try it on the road so uh, yeah that will be the next step probably in another video because i think the the main purpose of this one was to get the car running so uh yeah i hope you guys liked it subscribe like share do what you gotta do because we always working on some cool stuff out here we got the, the chevy sisters too you know got a couple of impalas a 63 a 61 that uh, I've been working on too so yeah always cool stuff around here so subscribe like do what you gotta do and thanks for watching